Did you know there are two ways to activate a switch in Half-Life? The first one is very simple. Walk up to one and press the Use key. The second one is... Coming up. Near the end of On a Rail, Gordon is tasked with launching a rocket. And getting to the control room is a bit tricky. You have to kill some soldiers, then climb a booby-trapped staircase, kill some more soldiers, and then finally reach the button. But you can save yourself all that hassle by performing a little trick, and that trick is to press the button from outside. And now you can get a real close look at the rocket. die in the process. Everybody who's played Half-Life remembers the tentacles. No! 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 Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! This time Gordon needs to turn on the power, oxygen and fuel. After doing so, you could go back and fire the rocket engine from inside the control room or, more conveniently, just press the button from behind and watch the tentacles burn. And finally, in questionable ethics, we've got the surgical unit room. Normally, you have to go through this hole in the wall, jump down, avoid the spinning blades, and open the door. But of course, there's a better way. Just do this. BAM! And the door is open. As a side note, charge units also can be activated through walls. So that was buttons in Half-Life. But doors and elevators in Half-Life can also be quite quirky. Click either of these videos to find out more. Take care. Warning. Vital